texts tell us that when the Buddha gave Dharma talks, he would instruct, urge, rouse, and encourage his listeners. Four verbs. Only one of them was about giving information. The other three were about giving encouragement. That this is something you can do to raise your fighting spirit, because sometimes the, the path seems a little bit taunting. And you can imagine that the Buddha learned that habit by talking that way to himself. Think of all those years where he was undergoing austerities, and finally realized that they were a failure. This was not going to work. Six years wasted. That could have put him in a real tailspin. But he didn't allow it to get him down. In other words, he didn't take his bad mood seriously. He took his good moods, the moods that this can be done. This is something that can be done. And he was able to, he was going to be able to do it. He kept talking to himself in that way. There must be a way out. There must be a way around this problem. And so instead of listening to the discouraging voices, he listened to the encouraging voices. To raise his fighting spirit, this is what we admire in him. It's not that he had a smooth path all the way. Things were not always easy. There's the poet Schiller who's made the distinction between people who act in grace and people who act in dignity. People who act in grace, they know the right thing to do and they find it easy to do it. People who act in dignity know the right thing to do, but it's not easy, but they can still do it anyhow. They realize that there have been setbacks on time. Sometimes people, other people have done things to harm them. But they realize that if they continue getting worked up about that harm, they're the ones who are harming themselves now. The harm that other people did was once. They've gone on to whatever their karma is. But here we are as we stab ourselves with our bad moods. We're the ones now who are harming ourselves. Telling ourselves that we don't have the habit within us to fight. So you've got to find your fighting spirit. The part of you that doesn't want to suffer and realizes that you don't have to suffer, believes in that. Nurture that belief, because that's the belief that will see you through. That's part of the path. After all, the Buddha analyzed the causes of suffering, and they all come from within. But he said there is a way to get around them. There's no cause of suffering that cannot be overcome. That's the good news of the Four Noble Truths. That's the good news of the path. You want to make sure that that news seeps into your mind. It's when a new obstacle comes up or old obstacles keep coming back. You don't take them all that seriously. You're more serious about your determination that you're going to see this through. You're not going to let setbacks set you back for long. So learn how to urge, rouse, and encourage yourself. Because that's where the path lies.